Hey, hello, hello. All right, this is Kathy Freeman with Kathy Freeman Art. I'm coming on to do, well, actually what was happening is I'm working in my own art journal and creating just something for uh, some time today to be able to just play and enjoy myself. And so I sat here and I was creating and I thought, why not bring you on? <laughs> And of course, um, I thought, well, why not? Let's do it. So I thought I'm going to stop for a minute and share with you my, my my whole process of thinking so that you have an idea of what I'm doing here. Now, as I'm kind of waiting for people to see this coming across, I'm going to just chit chat for a quick second and say hello. So when you pop on, if you pop on, just please put your name and where you're from in the comments. Say hello. Let me know that you're here and let me um, be able to respond. Now, I will, once they start working, not be chit-chatting back and forth, but um, I have someone that will go ahead and comment back to you uh, in the comment section. So if you have any questions or anything that you're wanting to share or talk about, just post that, all right? For me personally, when I am um, watching someone else's video and they kind of stop and they chit chat a little bit and then they come back, it it stops my thinking a little bit and what I'm creating. And so I don't want to do that to you. And it's a lot easier for me when I'm actually in the zone here of creating to just stay focused on what I'm doing. Um, but I do welcome you, and I'm really glad that you're popping on here to watch also. Hello, it's good to see you. Um, now, like I said, I thought, you know, I wanted to just take some time and create something for myself and my art journal. So I just grabbed, let me, this is my pile of stuff that I'm using. What I grabbed out was is my mixed media and it's just a, a small one it's not large it's seven by ten it's not the tiniest that i have but um it is a good size and i like doing the size it's not overwhelming and it doesn't take long to complete a project i grabbed some other things that just you know caught, caught my interest and one thing i wanted to tell you is tonight what i'm doing this project that i'm doing is literally just um something that I, f I just felt, in, you know, I wanted to open up some magazines. I didn't want to create a lot of um, pull out paints or do a lot of that. But I just wanted to pull out. I'd like to pull out magazines every once in a while and look through them. And if I see something that inspires me, create a collage and create some kind of um, project around that. So what I did is uh, I came across this little... I don't want to do advertising for the, but it's our grocery store here in our area. And they create this wonderful uh, couple of months or a month um, little magazine that if you're obviously going to be shopping, you might be able to find some ideas in here of what to cook. And as I was just carousing through that little magazine, I came across some neat pictures that I was like, oh my goodness, I have got to have that. And that's this picture right here. Can you see that? Little strawberries all covered up and decorated. And these are my colors. They just sing to me. I love these springy, um, sweet little colors. Something that I was thinking about starting when I first started before I came across that was I have this paper. Do you know, I don't know about you, but I have collected over the years with all my different projects and that. A lot of paper. And so right now what I'm kind of focusing on is how can I utilize that and, and use it rather than going out and buying something different. And I want to be able to use what I have here. And so I had this and I was thinking I might use that. I'm, I might still use it. I just think that is really, really sweet, really cute. Let me stick that over here out of my way. Something else I don't know if I'll use, but see, so I'm sort of showing you the process of my mind is what I'm doing. I just go through. I don't know what I'm going to create totally, uh, but I just go through and I pull out different papers, go through the magazines, see different things and um, see what I have that I want to, to play with. And I definitely know that I want to play with that. So let me open up to a page here. And I'm going to go ahead and use the back and start going forward because a lot of times in my 
art journals, I'll just do the front page and then the back is, you know, it's all left. But I'm going to go ahead and add this one to the back back here. Something else I pulled out is it's nice to have, since this is really busy and it's got a lot going on, something to kind of calm that down. And so I have this word puzzles, these crossword puzzles, pages, I might use that. And um, I started ripping out out of the, um, where is that magazine? <laughs> These have to be one of the best I love. Flea market garden style. <laughs> Anything that has garden ideas in it, because I, for me, I, that just, oh, look at that one. What a great um, focal piece that would be in a piece of work. I look at this and I'm like, this is so, so me. Very vintage, very, uh, I am not a gardener <laughs> by any means, but I do love to, I would aspire to have a beautiful garden like this. Look at that piece. Um, I am drawn to antiques and all kinds of furniture pieces. So for me, this little um, sitting right here with the table and the chairs and that really cool metal lamp, that would make a great thing. Okay, so we've got that. So I've just pulled out some different pieces. This is a neat old chair, garden chair. Um, in that same magazine that I pulled this out of, they had the word radishes. So I cut that out. Um, the garden magazine, I grabbed a water pail, grabbed some flowers. And I, I already started doing this. Like I said, I started my project and then I thought, hmm, maybe I should bring you on. <laughs> And let you be a part of this with me. Um, this, I don't know if I use that or not. This fan. What else did I have? I grabbed some of my templates here. I thought this was really neat. But I don't think I'll use it because of all the color. I've already got enough color going on. But this will definitely be used in another project. And this is simply a dish of potatoes and radishes and look at those wonderful colors and the shapes in that love that okay um i pulled together i also have i might use this too i don't know yet we'll see you know you just have to go grab your stuff pull it together see what really speaks to you what you want to use um, but I love anything that has a flair of French to it. Okay, it seems like I had something else I was going to use. Let me just take a peeky around here. See if, if I've dropped anything in the midst of my creating. Mm -hmm. As we go through... All right, this little picture, I haven't cut this out yet, but rip it out of the magazine. And it's just an ad. So, with these little bunnies, these little bunnies I thought would be really neat. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. So I'm gonna cut those out really quick so I can use those. Sometimes I find that I don't uh, take time to create because I don't know what I'm going to create. I'm not sure what it is that I want to do. And uh, that, I think, is what holds a lot of us up from just, you know, playing with our materials and having a good time. And so I've kind of put that to the backside. That's what, why I like to use these magazine pieces because they just step right in so beautifully and you don't have to think a whole lot with those. Let me turn this down here. There we go. All right. See that cute little bunny thing? Okay. So uh, let me get started here. And the first thing I want to do is put this on. Oh, that just that just sings to me. I love that so much. 
and I need my scraper. Put that on. I got to find my brush. <laughs> there it is. I have been away from this desk for a little while. I've got a daughter that's getting married, and so I've been busy working on things to prepare for that. That's the other reason it's nice to take a break from maybe some of the other things you're doing and just relax for a moment. Okay, this is my matte medium. And that's what I'm going to use because it's a great uh, way to glue this down to the paper. And magazine pieces are very thin, so I don't have to use something like my matte gel or anything. Just quickly put that on. Pop it on. Yeah. This is my favorite time of year. I do love spring. Well, I love a lot. Of, I love all the seasons. Not so much the snow, but that's okay because I don't live where there's a lot of snow. So it's not an issue for me, but I know talked to my daughter this morning and she's up in Northern, well, not Northern Idaho, but she's over in uh, probably the Southern really. And they've got snow this morning. <laughs> so bless her heart. She's like, yeah, it's snowed again. <laughs> I think she is so ready. Okay. That went off a little bit on the edge, but that's all right because I'll come back and I'll use my scissors and I'll just clip that off. So I don't worry about that. What I do like to do though is put something between. Let me look around here, see what I have. Just a piece of paper towel will work. So I don't get a lot of stuff on the pages underneath. There we go. Now I don't have to be so careful. I find it hard to be creative and careful. I don't know about you. Okay. Smush this out. Get this under the edges. There we go. I have to be a little careful because sometimes I get vigorously pressing on this and then I, you know, can easily rip, easily rip the page. Don't want to do that. What's your, do you love spring colors or are you more of a fall person? Do you like that beautiful warm, rich colors of the fall. Maybe even that Indian summer. Go ahead and post in the comments what it is that you like. What are your favorites? Okay. That's great right there. Stuck that on. I'm sorry. I'm just, just loving that so much. All right. What do I want to do next? Going to go ahead and put on my radishes. Stick that on. Just creating a, a collage background. Using magazine pages. Yikes. What I did there was not great, but it's okay. I Put that over and it pulled up some of those pieces right off of the little strawberries. Yeah. 
Good to get that stuck down. I think I'm going to get my glove on because I tend to use my fingers a lot when I create. Okay. See, I have this. I'm going to go ahead and I cut it out, but I'm going to rip out around the bunnies. You can separate them a little bit. Those little bunnies right there. Hopping and heading for those radishes. Now I know what I'll be doing is adding gesso over this. And doesn't it always seem like when you first start, it just seems so random? <laughs> You're thinking, hmm, will that ever make any sense with that? Okay, I'm going to use those. But right now I'm going to get my glove on. And add... Some of the gesso. My gesso is really thick, so I'm going to get my fingers wet. Pull some of that out. The gesso to take away that look of this starts stops here and this starts here. Let's leave little bunny's head. You know, one thing you can do, I haven't really I heard this, is use a little Vaseline that to put over the image, the especially words, you know, when you're wanting to save certain words. Put a little Vaseline right over that word. And so when you're putting things down, it uh, repels it. The nice thing about the gesso is which I love is you can make it as transparent or as thick as you'd like. Mm-hmm. You could use a brush for this very easily if you wanted. By me putting this over, it's sort of setting that back into the background. So it's not quite so much in your face. Okay. Good 
something to dry this. And let that sit for a second. I actually need to grab my dryer because I have moved that to one of the other projects. So give me a second. I'm going to good put this over here so you can see the whole project. All right, now that's the risk of, um, you know, popping you on here when I'm in the middle of just doing something by myself. Okay, let's just start drying that. stick this on. I want to get this stuck on here. Just kept out my matte medium. Now what I'm going to do is start focusing in I do that totally. Rip that off so I don't cover up my little bunny. Like in the garden. There. I was thinking, when I paused for a moment, as I was thinking how great it would be to use. Actually, what we have back here is this white stone thing. So... I have on here this template, this stone. And so let's just add that right back here. Wouldn't that be cool? Do, 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 do. And to do that, I'm going to use my modeling paste. I need... Okay. Got that down. If you've um, <laughs> followed me for a while, you know how much I love this. My membership, my art sisters, it's the name of my membership, my art sisters, the Adventures Creatives. Um, 
I use this all the time. Love using. Mostly because of it creating such a great, you know, texture and interest to a piece. Oh, you see, see that. Let me lift it up a little bit, but that is fantastic. And to carry that through, I think what I'll do is I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm going to do a little bit over here just to carry that on through. Okay, let that lay flat, Kathy. So much of art is just intuitive, isn't it? You just have to go with what feels right. What feels, you know, like, hmm, or those little sparks of ideas that come. Be willing to try it out. And if it doesn't work out, which sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> you just... You just kind of paint over it and start again, right? Don't um, don't stop yourself. Okay. Okay. Thinking in my head that I might. I'm just wanting a little bit more of that down here. And that's how I do so much of my art is it's really more of a, a feeling. You know, what does it, what does it look like? What does it feel like? There we go. Now I always have, if I know, which I kind of, have, you know, typically do use, then I will have um, a, a little bit of water, some kind of container over here that I can drop those in because I don't, definitely do not want those um, drying on. It's too hard to get off. I was thinking I might use, but those are super large. And what I believe I'm going to do next, put this aside, probably even dry that, is add this in. It's a hanging up there. Maybe bring that off and I'll just cut it off, bring it down further. I think so. I think so. Let's take off that little pointy area and have my matte medium. And I I'm not going to spend a lot of time thinking through this. Mostly because it's just to enjoy. So, add that there. And my water can. Get rid of that. See, I already stuck that on, but I'm going to see if I can. No, I'm not going to be able to. I was thinking I might even bring it lower, but not a big deal. And then the last one I'm going to stick on is this one up here. Do I want to cover up that much? Put 
bring it over to the edge. Okay, you just kind of play with it, don't you? See where you want it. I'm going to bring it lower. And to do that, I'm going to, I don't want a sharp, sharp edge. So what do we do to get rid of that? Oops. We tear. You tear away that sharp edge. And what's so fun is I'm sitting there as I'm looking at it, the thought was, we'll create your hanging basket. You can do the lines in that. Bring it right on down. And I think I'll go ahead and break this away because I've got my wonderful, here we go. Okay, stick that on. Just like that. All of this out of grocery store handout. And my uh, favorite little magazine. Okay, this is looking fantastic. I need to dry this. I'm going to go ahead and Take some of this and go over. There. I don't need to really do that that much. I'm going to stick that, though, in water. Keep that from hardening on there. And close up my lids so that my uh, materials don't dry up. Let's see here. So that gives it a second for things to kind of dry on it. I'll leave the gesso available because I go back and forth with that. Okay, let's dry that with the dryer. a little more but all right I'm looking over here I had other templates I had other things other papers Make sure my hands are dry separate these pages a little bit there we go Woo. all right now, I'm going to cut on the other side this excess. Cut that off. I love mixed media because you can use all the stuff, all the stuff. 
Okay, let's go from the back end of it. Use paints and watercolors and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> There we go. I am a lefty, so using my right, I'm not always as proficient. But usually it's interesting I cut with both hands, so. That's a fun one. It's just a simple love that statement. Love that statement. Okay. Oh, I'm getting so, this is so exciting. Let me feel it. Does it feel? Probably could use a little longer drying, but we're going to just keep on moving here. Now, I need some, the next thing I think about to myself is I need some dramatic areas, something that, um, really pops out and I can do that. Let's see, let me use my charcoal because my watercolor pencil has broken. I don't have a sharpener close to me, but you can do some of the lining and shading now to get things to really take on. I usually use a little brush, a small brush. It's a small, this is an angle brush. What it, and the watercolor pencil is fabulous. Charcoal will work too, but. Bring that to life. What I'm going to do is I'll use it in here. Let's go in between these. And separate some of them. Am I on camera? <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to add some darkness in here. See, I have, where are you, where are you? I love to use this. This is an ink, it is raw umber. And I use that a lot of the time when I'm working at creating something. Use my paper towel. Pick some of this up. Let's bring it right over here. I'm going to go outside on this paper, even over here on this side. Okay. 
And I'm going to bring this in here. Hope that that to stand out more. Let's see, let's put it here. This is where I'll bring my gesso back in. Pull some of that gesso off. Just painting right over that blue area. Around the bunnies. And I'm going to take, I'm going to touch my brush with it. In between these stones. Now, if you don't have this ink, you could do absolutely do this with um, your acrylic paint or anything. Your watercolors work really nice. Okay. Get wanted on that stone right there. Works really nice. I love this, what's happening here, that definition. So I'm going to grab wrong. Where did it go? Did I put it back. What did I do with it, group? <laughs> oh, there it is. Right in front of me. Okay, I'm going to come back in here. Add a little more definition. Not a lot. Now that's charcoal, so when I hit it with water, even though it looked like I just scribbled on there, it's going to blend itself out a little. Use it more for um, that shadow effect. Yeah. 
And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Go in between. Help to accentuate the stone. Excuse me. Wonderful stone wall up there. Take some water. And it, it does this wonderful work, goes right over the, the white, gives some areas gray. Love that. Okay, grab the brown. Like I said, you could use acrylic paint for this. Just thin it down quite a bit so it's very watery. I would do uh, one direction and then come back the other direction. It's a lot easier because you've got it in your brush. You don't want to have to just going to. Oh, right up in there. Yeah, I wanted to lift it off of that stone. Okay. Something else fun to do is maybe make it look a little mossy. So I've got some green acrylic here. In a bowl. Let's water that down. That's why I say watercolors work really nice with this. Okay. And if you're using the uh, modeling paste, you do not want a lot of water because then you start to lose, it starts to uh, dissolve it. So you do need to pick up more of acrylic here. Just hit some of the stones. They've got moss growing on them. <laughs> okay. Carry some of that through over here. See, and all of this is just coming out of magazine pictures and just a few other few other things. And my cute, cute, cute little strawberries are getting covered up, but that's all right. 
It's all part of the process, isn't it? Let's add some of this down here. Can add a lot in this corner. And I can come back with my, um, well, I don't have green distressed ink, but I do have the brown. Probably did that off camera there, but just took it and filled that corner in. All right, I am really happy with this, and I'm about done with this too. I didn't want to spend a lot of time. I will come back and let's see. This is dry enough. We can use our Redefine this chair. This could get lost. And we don't want it to get lost, do we? There, it popped it right back out. Go around the watering can. Bring them out more as a focal. But these, these are the holes that the water comes out. So we want to make sure those are there. If you want to spend more time, you could actually paint right over these flowers. Gives it a whole different look. Okay, now I'm going to go to a thin, let's see what I've got. It's not super thin, but let's re-bring, let's re-back introduce our radishes.
Draw those back in. Let's get our little bunnies over here. Let's see. Using the thinner, the pen. Okay. I might just go ahead and outline some of these leaves too. <laughs> now it'd be nice to find some kind of I know I had radishes down here but maybe a quote or something would be super neat um, let's see if I go into one of my books here If there's a anything about the garden or um, Some this would make it neat, really. But I don't see anything here yet that grabs my little pepper pop cure. Nothing so far. This is an old antique English. The Robin and the Bluebird piping aloud. Gee, wouldn't it have been awesome if there was something about bunnies? <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Well, that will be something I'll do on my own, and then I'll be posting it. But um, I can just find words anywhere. And then uh, take those words. I feel like I just want a nice little statement, some some little quote, something right there. And that's, I'm not going to sit here, take up your time. Look how neat. We'll do another, I'll do another one using those. Those would be awesome to use. Look at that cat. Maybe we should stick Mr. Kitty in there. <laughs> yeah, maybe instead of. I'll cut right into that, but kind of like the you know, I have a little statue like this. Love this statue. I have this. Wouldn't that be? Why not? 
So we're going to end it, this little project, by sticking in this little statue here. And I'll bring it right down to the edge. So I'm going to cut that so it's straight. The only time I want a straight edge on my uh, images is if they're going to be on the edge. Yep. That'll be fantastic. Okay. My matte medium again. This has been a lot of fun. Very relaxing. Fun journal page. So I hope it's inspired you to just pull out your magazines or if you see something, like I said, that was at the grocery store. I typically don't pick those up, but I did. I'm glad I did. Okay, I'm going to stick him right there. Just so it's not just a random picture stuck in there. I go back to my gesso. Some on my finger. And I will. Put that on the edges. Let's keep her. And while I'm doing that. Use my fingers, put that right over. <laughs> I could get back out my brown. But what I'll do is I'll show you. Let's dry it, and then I'm going to use distressed ink. We'll call it good. Changed my mind. I want to grab that brown. Got my gesso. We're going to put a drop of it here. Get some gesso and I'm going to work that in. If it gets too heavy, grab your paper towel and lift. Go back to the green. There we go. Worked it right in there. All right. I'm going to let that dry. <laughs> Sorry, got something scratching on my nose there. So fun. Thank you so much for joining me. This little pop on here. Um, you will have in your emails, I did send out into your emails today. Or if you're watching this later, you can go back to your emails. It'll be on a Wednesday. I sent that. And what is the date? Let's look. It might be helpful, wouldn't it? But I sent you a template that I created, March 22nd. Um, a template of a, a rabbit and that, and um, also a background with some flowers and that. So that it's just something in your email that you can take and, and rip up and create yourself. It might be fun to just create. So if you do that or you post one of these, go ahead and put it in the group and let me see 
what it is that you've created. Okay, take care. Thanks.